This is a conservative czar, July 29th, 2016. The conventions are over. Uh, now we're facing the uh, three months uh, to the election, and we have the big events coming up will be the debates. But a um, lot's going to be told. In the next two or three days, we're going to get, we're going to get polls. And I predict that it'll be Hillary up by two, one or two. And, um, and that'll be good for Trump. It means it's basically an even race. And I see it as an even race for the next three months. Um, and and uh, right now, I'm, I'm going to give you what I believe is the probability of, of who is going to be president. And I'm not talking about the vote. This is not a tally of votes. It's a probability. And I have this 55% chance that Hillary is of the president, 45 that Donald Trump is the president. And I do this for one uh, significant reason, um, and that is that I just don't see how Trump can overcome the, the palinization uh, of, of himself. Uh, the mass media is going to at, uh, brutally attack Donald Trump, and we're already seeing how it happens. And they're going to do what they did to Sarah Palin with a, 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 a series of ridiculing remarks, uh, facts that aren't right, picking out little things that are, uh, can uh, distort Donald Trump. They're going to attack him mercilessly. And I don't see how you can overcome that. And let me try to explain why you can't overcome it. They, uh, the mass media is not going to affect too many conservatives. And by the way, i, I got to talk about this for a second. You know, outside of two guys, and I'm sure there's more, um, Mike Lee and Ted Cruz, who I do believe will vote for Donald Trump, and I do believe before this is all said and done, they will support him. And I'm disappointed in both of them, terribly disappointed in both of them. Mike Lee could support support Romney, but not Trump. Cruz, I don't. Cruz could support Romney and not Trump. I'm very disappointed, extremely disappointed in them. Uh, so other than those two guys, let me make one thing clear. The opposition to Trump is not from conservatives. The, the, you, you, you skin these guys, all of them, and, and they're not conservatives. You know, we start with Romney, we, Jeff Flake in Arizona, McCain, Graham. These are not conservatives. They're moderate neocons who a lot of them base their, their, their attack on Trump on the fact that Trump is going to get into a whole bunch of wars. Uh, they're, they're, this is not a conservative, this is a moderate uh, revol, a revolution within the Republican Party. It's not a conservative one. And we need to, we need to take, you know, take names here. Cruz, Lee, uh, Sass of Nebraska. Sass should not be a United States senator next time around. He should be defeated. And by the way, I tell you, if I were in Wisconsin and I were in Paul Ryan's district, I'd be voting against him. I want, the, the defeat of Paul Ryan would be a tremendous, tremendous shot to the uh, to, to the established wing of the Republican Party that we beat in in the primaries, and uh, they're still there. They're still fighting. They're still struggling to bring us down. Uh, so I, I want to get that aside. But the the basic idea when we're talking, I don't think most conservative Trump supporters are going to be swayed by the mass media. But that, that isn't what happens here. It, it, as what's happened in uh, the last election cycles, um, the mass media is, is in favor of the Democrat, Barack Obama, and support Barack Obama and tear down their opponent. And what that affects is the middle. It affects the, the you know, I've, I've seen these people. I know who they are. You know, these are people who don't, don't have a real strong foundation in policy. They, they sort of, um, when, you, when you talk to them directly, they're probably more conservative than liberal, but it's weak. You know, they listen to The View. You know, they listen to Oprah. They listen to ABC morning shows, and they get the snide remarks constantly. It weighs on them. It changes their opinions. And that's why I, I, I don't believe Donald Trump can withstand the onslaught that's going to come from the mainstream press. And let me understand, let's let me understand, I want to name names here, for, and I'll probably, I'll forget some. ABC, CBS, NBC, okay? Those three. And by the way, those three, they attack Trump 
both in their morning show, in their evening shows, in their news shows, in their weekend shows, but also in their comedy shows. The attack is relentless. Late night comics. Uh, you think they're going to attack Hillary? I mean, she is, she is total fodder for comedy. She is a joke. But you're, they're never going to do it. That's what I mean. This onslaught is going to be enormous. Enormous. Well, uh, um, uh, New York Times, Washington Post, L.A. Times. There might be others. And, and, you, and you can throw into neutral the Wall Street Journal, journal who would think would be a conservative uh, publication, but it really is not going to be here. They're torn. They're torn. And, and that shows their true colors. Uh, it's cable. Uh, it's, it's, it, and it's all cables. HBO, ESPN. ESPN is probably the most liberal. That's ABC, but e, the most liberal part of your cable networks. The, the garbage that comes out of ESPN is enormous. Left-wing garbage. And, it, and, it, and, and they, it's constant in, in ESPN coverage. They throw these little jabs and little digs and uh, it's in, in, in cable. Uh, so it's eight, Showtime, HBO, the whole nine yards, but it's also then CNN, uh, Headline News, uh, MSNBC, uh, against what? Basically, maybe Fox, okay? More particularly, some people on Fox will not fall into this narrative. But Megyn Kelly's going to, you know, Bill O'Reilly is going to be his, his typical old... Uh, well, I think I'll shoot this down the middle self. Uh, you know, Fox is, 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 is conservative. It's on our side, but we can't count on them. They, they, we can't count on them to defend Trump. Now, there are some exceptions, especially on Fox Business News, where you have uh, Stuart Varney, who's tremendous. I, I, he, he's the guy to watch. He's not perfect, you know, but he's the best there is on Fox, in my opinion. Morning from... Um, East Coast from, no, West Coast, 6 to 9. I think he's from 3 to, three to I don't know what his hours are. <laughs> I get him at 6. That means it's 3 o'clock. He's 3 to 6 in the morning on the East Coast. And he's a tremendous show. I record it, and I play it back every time. But it's all of these left-wing mass media, you know, and, and, the, 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 and, they, and the endless barrage, they are going to uber palinize Trump. You know, uh, th it's going to be on path. So that's why I don't think he can win. We'll have to see. He, he's a unique individual, but we, we can see, and I'll talk about the changing winds that are that are occurring. And the the, re the polls are going to come out in the next two days are important. If Trump's up by three or four, I'm going to I will change that 55 and bring it down to 52, something like that. Um, percent chance that they're going to be present, not not how it's going to end up in the votes. Um, I, I will predict that, but later. So that's my outlook right now. It's going to be tough for Trump. I, I, I don't know how he can pull it off. Um, the mass media, and, and the, the way to do it, by the way, is for Donald Trump to understand what he's up against and make this campaign a war against the mass media. He has, I think he has to do it. If he's, if, if he, he can blunt it that way. And, and actually, he can change them because they don't like the, the spotlight on them directly, and Trump can do it. Um, then, but he has, I, you know, he has to really make it a campaign issue. This is the conservative czar. See you next time.